Write the song. But, but Jamie and the win the, the baby. baby. When you masturbate, you're having sex with a uh, sex demon. You want a picture? Let me pose for you now. Thing bad mind could have never stop my thing. Them say I did a one, but me still a win. Now nah, makes them me I do me own thing. Me not don't like the show of voting. Put the dumb money dog, yo, keep me floating with ya. No man, that was really bad. I need to do better with that dance. But anyway, box cover. This is Dutty Berry and welcome to another top 10 social media countdown. So let's get right into it because we have whole heap things to talk about. <laughs> the dusty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you for tune into the youth. Like, yo, hey. Box cover, him cover all the topics like a him name Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them Suck me, I will have me now the week, yo Just tune in, zin Number 10, Wellness Bench. My schoolyard. So, burritos. So, I saw this, this article that was basically published, you know, surrounding World Mental Health Day, that the Ministry of Health and Wellness, that they had a partnership with uh, Wu and Paho to basically develop a wellness bench. Now, they started this um, initiative at the Alpha, um, Alpha Girls School. And um, this was the bench that was presented that is supposed to be a safe space where students can go to kind of unburden burden themselves and relieve themselves from the stresses of life. Ta -da. What is this? What, 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 what? So this is a part of um, uh, the Do You Share campaign and apparently it is going to spread to other schools. So this is the bench. Now you look on the bench right there and you're like, okay. So I guess if you feel stressed and you probably feel the exam and you want a space to vent, you can go there to unburden yourself. Let's go. I guess it's symbolic. It have to be symbolic because I don't know if people are supposed to actually use it. Well, we sit down in a thinking chair and think, think, think. You know, because sometimes when I stress out, you want to under one tree with like a shade or go in a little room where you have like a stress ball where you can distract yourself, listen to some music. But if you just out in the sun, sit down on the tough bench, then I don't know if it's like really just like and burden yourself. That will cause burden and back problem. But um, I still like the, the symbolism that actually there are some efforts to, to, to take um, children's mental health in mind. So that has to be applauded. But you know, so Twitter can't be Twitter without Twitter running in pan this. So once this post got shared, everybody run in and started to basically make fun of the, the, the initiative. So you had this tweet. <laughs> Jesus, Pim. And then you had um, um, this particular meme that was added on it, like happiness. Me not in a not with stress. Eh. Like, right, come on, man. Why, why, why Jamaican people stay so? You know, so I'm going to applaud it, the ministry. I do think it is good, but I, I just want to know: people have got you expect people to actually utilize the space, or was it just merely to be a reminder, just something symbolic? Like, sound off below and let me know, by readers, what do you think of this move? Number nine, flipper three, me gungu. Okay, burrito. So I don't know if you know about this this dancehall artist by the name of Flipper Flipper Mafia. Now Flipper Mafia was very popular up to like 20, 2000 and, 2009 when he was basically running the place with this song. How me tell them about them here, huh? them here and them here. And he was known to live very lavishly, like he was just all about the place, you know, just living life, partying, you know, a poor out NC and them something there. And he was also known for I think one year he went to Sting and actually just dash money upon the patrons them so all of that came to halt because i guess he was um convicted i think around 20 2016 let me say no it's 2016 he was convicted for um you know money laundering and um cocaine possession and all of these things yes sir mm -hmm. and he was to, to serve over 20 years in prison but no he is actually free because of good behavior. So I guess we have to applaud him for that. Mm -hmm. And from reports are saying that he never really waste him time in a jail, you know, he never waste him time in a prison. He actually put that time to use and um, which would explain why he's going to be out early. So he now has a, um, a first degree in education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as well as he completed his high school diploma. I'm thinking for a change. 
focus on the victim. I'm trying to cage my rage. I gotta earn my way out. Me already get my GED. I'm a AA degree. I'm a BA degree. So, um, you know, congratulations to the Flipper Mafia, you know, I understand people make them little mistakes and people, you know, do them, do them damages in a life. And so hopefully you spend this time to really reflect on our, you know, and you will become a better person now. <laughs> because boy, your boy, Flipper, time different, you know, economy different right now, you know. All if you did want to do it, I don't think the only thing you could have shared out now a cake. Yeah, man, one like a cake sale or something like that, guy. Yeah, man, money, money kind of rough right now in the streets. <laughs> Number eight, influencers invite me spectacular. Okay, burritos. So, um, you know what? I always love for just celebrate the Jamaican um influencers, them especially you know, like when they bring the little the little Hollywood socialite type of energy there to our local shores. I always kind of love for seed, right? And so I don't know if you know this influencer by the name of Shanzi, one real atas, long time atas, but she's not just atas pan paper. She actually have something up in her cranium because she actually has her marketing degree. I hope I'm not wrong, yeah, man, girl, beauty and brains and all of these things. And so she is engaged to a very popular uh, party promoter by the name of Nina. Now, if you know Nina, he's my one brother in the streets. He, you know, he's one of the promoters them for Sons, um, the Estate Jamaica, and several other um, parties, Triple Thursdays, and so much more. So the two of them, they've been dating for, for quite a while now, and they are planning their wedding. Now, this wedding seems like, say, a one type of list where you're going to want for the panel number. Because the wedding here seems like it's going to give you every little bit of, like, rich, young Hollywood royalty. Because, yeah, man, look like them now spare the budget for the wedding year, man. Yeah, man, the wedding year is not a turkey neck wedding. The wedding year is a octopus. And so the, the couple, they actually um, revealed their wedding invites to the people them like me who not invited an hour ago. But it was nice for them to make us feel a part of the process. Take a look at this very lovely wedding invite. Hey guys, so our invitations are finally going out and we want to show you what it looks like. So when you open it, you have us on the cover A Daring Moment, which is a play on Nina's last name. And when you open it, it plays. Oh my god young love oh oh my god oh god jesus christ mm -mm. yeah man that, yeah and so what we are here as well is that they will actually be having a reality show leading up to their wedding yes man from us the first in line jamaica so boy oh boy they are fully monetizing this process and i am here for it because if the foreign people them can do it why our local films can do it as well and better Mm -hmm. So, burritos, let me know. Will you be tuning into the, to their reality show? And um, sound off, do you think say, December going to be a matching pajama, pajama season for you? Sound off below. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Alka dance me vendetta. Good job. Okay, so burritos. I don't know Alka line has often been very, you know, very much criticized for his performances. People feel like sometimes it can be lackluster and he's not really connect connecting. But you see, Alka line, I'm pretty sure that he listens. And it just seems that some days he have better days than some. But it seems as if he's really revving up his performances and putting in the work to really deliver his best to his audience. So in a recent performance in Canada, Alkaline is something you wouldn't normally picture Alkaline doing. Guess what he did? He danced. Oh my jeez, I'm team. All right, Alkaline. Just when the people them are counting out and I said that you cannot deliver on stage, Alkaline just said, watch your style, yeah. Alkaline got foot move on them, man. Jesus Christ. Alkaline got Jericho on them. Alkaline, I don't know if this is the start of something new where maybe the next performance, Alkaline, I'm going to do full Chris Brown type of choreography. We don't know, you know. But, um, 
Are you here for it, burritos? Sound off below. <laughs> Number six, flow and stress. Me can mean porridge. Oh my God. So, you know, our favorite Jamaican couple, the Mitchells, that is Tammy Chin and Wayne Marshall. We know that they are now flow ambassadors, right? And we have all seen, well, let me not say we, we all. Most of us, or some of us have seen this flow ad. And whether we're at home or on the road, Wayne, the, the baby. baby. So now, people, you know that according to a particular woman, this ad is insensitive? This is crazy. Oh, yes. Um, so she wrote into the editor to talk about why she dislikes this particular commercial. Dear editor, I write regarding the current flow advertisements with Wayne Marshall and Tammy Chin. I find the advertisement quite insensitive at this time as it depicts a scene in which the Michels are rushing to leave their house with their children but forgot their youngest child. Yeah, mama, take me down read it, mama, can't bother do it right now. But essentially what the lady was saying is that in recent times there was actually um, a, a news story in which a police, um, a, a, I think a, a, a policeman actually forgot that he had his child in his car and the child, the child passed away. A whole whole sad situation but basically this 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 writer was suggesting that the ad was insensitive and didn't need to be on the airwaves because of that no i mean i understand the issue but then my question is to what end because really and truly nothing can happen on tv then because if i cannot move my legs and there are commercials with people dancing it could be deemed insensitive and could be deemed a trigger if I have lost a particular family member and I see people celebrating Mother's Day or Father's Day, it could be insensitive, all of these things. So I get the issue, but yeah, that is not on the advertisement and it is not on the Mitchells. It is really just on the individual who might be triggered to just really deal with it and cope with it in their own time and their own best way. Win the, the baby. baby. Yeah, that's all I have to say about burritos. What do you say? Do you find the ad insensitive sound off below number five nikki claps me pull up in a monster on a meal gangster with that bad bitch that came from sri lanka yeah i'm under yeah mama i don't remember the rest i'm gonna really flap myself my like my girl with the compound wendy are you a nikki fan what am i a nikki fan <laughs> pull up in the sri lanka what <laughs> yeah. yeah okay marido so guess what I have just been having quite a couple of days. Like, boy, I, mean, I don't know what in the ear, but Jesus beam. So the legend herself, Nicki Minaj, commented on my YouTube video. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. You think nobody can talk to me right now? You think nobody, if I, anybody I would love to address me is somebody who I actually respect. Nicki Minaj commented under my video. Jesus, beam, and she left quite an epistle. So, and it wasn't a countdown, you know, it was actually my daughter news. You can go and go check it out right now, and I am going to put it, yeah, yeah, check it out right now, the last daughter news, where I spoke about the, um... And first up, Nicki Minaj releases yet another remix of her single, I, I mean, Skeng's single, Little Miss, featuring several Caribbean acts. Yeah man, so it seems as if uh, the queen of rap did not enjoy my, my, my sentiments, like talking about the fact that, I guess, you know, making a little joke about the song is, is, is no um, Nicki's. And so this is what Nicki said, now prepare for it. Imagine sitting up there with all this hate in your face and body language to speak on something so positive. Is it still Skeng song? Una fully dance arwa. Skeng just made history on both US iTunes, all genres, and hip hop. He just made history on Billboard digital song sales chart. Shouted out at the VMAs during my Vanguard Award acceptance speech and spoke on him in a recent interview. Been promoting his music on IG for months before I even met him or worked with him. I did an entire video to the version with just he and I. Paid for out of my pocket, not by a label. I speak to him multiple times a week or relationship is way beyond a song. Hey boy, I'm rich. I do what I want and what I need. Deflect, divisive, you think I give a F about someone saying who I do and don't work with? <laughs> They've said far worse. I've been supporting dancehall since before my first album. Put 
Bini on my first album. I did this out of love. I have four skin. Dancehall and the talented woman I featured. I sit back with my feet kicked up. I could never do another song again and tour around the world for the next hundred years if I wanted to. I don't do music to prove points. I do music because music is my passion, my peace, my gift to share with the world. You think this is hurting Skeng? You think Republic Records could have Skeng songs on my album without his permission and knowledge? Is it still Skeng's song? Bad mind ya a idiot awa. Bad mind ya a idiot awa. Una a scrub unu face like introducing millions of new people to him hurts him? Does it hurt the producers? How could y'all sound so bitter and literal, literally try and find something bad to say? Referring to Spice as Bestie got her feature in that snide way. What type of low vibrational thing on the pun? I would never eat a plate that looked like that. You couldn't even pay me to do that myself. Fix up on yourself. It don't look good. I would tell you to go suck out on a big mother. Well. Well. But I have too much respect for you both. I am happy for you. Keep shining. Keep making Jamaica proud. But one thing... But one thing goody. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> but one thing goody. Don't ever play with me again. Queen, icon, trendsetter, blessed, highly favored, boss, samurai mind. They move on my time. They watch me. They want to be me. Lick miss obsession. Jano star i'm very disappointed in you both shout out the woman who made this such a dope experience and bodied their verses talents over every bbc thing modest life ratty gang port of spain spain town art burrito so update so um I, I recorded this social media countdown like a day and a half ago um but let me give you an update so so from this message it was really aimed i'm um, gathering at nightly fix because they went into an in-depth review of the the, the fine nine little mix remix and nikki gave her comments now let me jump back to what i said before even knowing this big up you but i understand this game i understand the game the game of optics and i know i never really mean she was cussing i i i really feel that yeah nikki be watching nikki be watching and um and and, and pre local content and i think nikki is very smart and very calculated so she understands my role in the jamaican culture so i respect that you know, and so I'm just a messenger right here. I think she literally came to me as a new source to vent all of the frustrations because she's been listening to everything that has been said in the Jamaican space. And she just chose someone notable who would actually share all of this to the public. And so, you know, Nikki, big up yourself now because, yeah, man, quality, no quality. I'm understand the shrimps and get it a vent and it's clear look like I did early morning. So listen, yeah, listen. I am not the writer. I am just a messenger. <laughs> but Marinos, um, let me know what you think of Nikki's um, comment and all that she had to say. Would you ease up now that she has basically said that it is still very much Skeng's song and she doesn't really like that people are saying that she's taking over the whole entire Little Miss um, rhythm and, and, and vibe. So let me know what, you, what, what your thoughts are on her comments. Sound off below. Jeez, I'm my boss, you know. Mm -mm. Beyonce, if you're watching this right now, yeah man, I want some visuals for the Renaissance album, like quick and fast. Number four, yeah man, so this story is completely sad. It has to do with 12 year old Lauren Jurek who committed suicide. Now, the story says that um, he was scolded for being rude to one of his cousins and so his mother had sent him to apologize to, to the cousin and after several, you know, like hours, the mother was unable to find him and so while she was walking, she found him hang from a tree and um, you know it begs the question like what could have really happened you know like to make a 12 year old child a 12 year old child to choose to end his life all right his father was in his life and it affected him a lot so i believe that every father should play a role in their child's life like um yeah man that hurt like i i i just don't know but as i said in the last social media countdown you have to be very careful the words and how you talk to people because people are really going through things and if adults are going through things and are unable to have the tools to really gather themselves 
just imagine somebody who is 12 years old like especially this generation people talk about them being overly sensitive yes because they're growing up at a time where people have the words there is the verbiage to, to talk about mental health one time is like your, your blood doesn't bleed from your knee i don't even know say i feel pain because literally we weren't raised to acknowledge these things these kids know you have social media they are a lot more sensitive because they know what things affect them when this when when somebody says something them internalize it more and so you know parents who are watching just be very careful um like how you speak to your kids and you know just checking on their self-esteem and and really talk to them to see how that they're how they're coping because sometimes they might look and say yo you're 12 year old what could i bother you there are 12 year olds who are going to their bed crying because people are not liking their pictures on instagram they are being affected because they are not um being supported and so even though to you their issues might seem so trivial and insignificant you have to really stick close to them and listen to them and offer them support because they might they might deal with some things that you would imagine they have new challenges and different challenges than you would have had at their age so it's such a sad situation but I just urge the parents like checking with your with your kids world mental health day was 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 a few days ago but don't wait until once a year checking with them like at least once or twice a week just to kind of see how they're doing mentally and be very careful the words and how you speak to them because these kids they might internalize things differently is either them get very arrogant aggressive or they might just get sad and depressed so is one extreme or the next so be very careful handle them with care that's all me have to say right about now it's time for the big up segment well done. All right, so first on the big up segment, I have to go and big up Novi McDonald White on the launch of her master class. We are global. Truth be told, we've always been. We also fully grasp diversity. Now let's chart our own path. My name is Novia McDonald White, and I've been fortunate in building a career that spotlights how we live. Also, I have to go and big up the Jamaica Constabulary Force because you know, so when they do bad, the public always attack, you know, ill of them. So when they do great things like this, we really have to go and commend them. So big ups to the Jamaica Constabulary Force on a very swift nabbing of some car thieves um during the very you know big bad wednesday morning traffic number three spice no touch me dancehall queen okay <laughs> so um spice the queen of dancehall now recently visited angeli angela yee's podcast i hope i'm getting it right yes um podcast where they always invite guests and talk to them about sexual sexually charged topics you know and so spice was the one of their recent guests and they asked her about if she indulges in self-pleasure and this is what she said. We want to know well. is there, you know, when you masturbate, you're having sex with a sex demon, like, you know. Really? I never heard that. Never Pull it up that. on your phone. It's a, it's, a, it's a sex yeah, demon called Incubus. Google, Incubus, Incubus and Zacubus. So you have a male sex demon and a female sex demon. Okay. So when you masturbate, you're having sex with a male sex demon. Wow. What's yeah, and that? it also will be in a relationship with you and cause problem in your actual relationship. Is that words can bring me? Oh wow, yeah man, Spice just knock with the whole of Jamaica foot right there. So <laughs> No, um I've actually heard about it. I don't know where they heard from, but I think it was like some visuals that used to grow up on Twitter or on Facebook where they would talk about these particular spirits that can like really get into you and stuff so it's not something that i feel is new to some people but like i guess many people found it a little bit kind of say you know for somebody whose content is very adult i guess they wouldn't have expected this reaction from her uh, myself included but me just think of the jamaican way because jamaican way even though we can seem like we're very vulgar and stuff like that we're very conservative people you know like as much as all you will hear you talk about dash out and this and that if you for going on one dance and tell most of the women them for do the things them where them are going with and accept on social media everybody sit down prim and proper 
But that is just how we are as black people and Caribbean people. So it should not really come as a shocker that Spice might hold this conservative view even though you see in the public domain, domain as the Spice character. So Burritos, let me know, have you heard about these type of spirits? And um, are you team masturbate? Sound off below. I didn't do it willingly off my own mind number two picture this my tiktok okay burritos so there is a new tiktok challenge that is just like buzzing all about the place and it has to do with a former magnum kings magnum 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 queen contestant by the name of sasik now so she has a single that is called cute and neat and this song was actually released two years ago but no me don't know what happened it is now burning up the tiktok streets you want the picture let me pose for you now you got me now oh you'd like another one you like this oh wow <laughs> no that is just so weird my girl do her song long time put on and pack it and move on to other things i swear say you know man that song is just in the past but because of tiktok this is really show you like how vital tiktok is right now for artists in our music promotion but because of tiktok the song is trending yet again you want the picture let me pose for you now you got me now oh you'd like another one you like this one so sasik big up yourself you know because yeah man the song there it definitely is a whole entire vibe it is a whole mood so burritos right now go over sasik page go check out the song and hopefully on running for the tiktok challenge as well hey guys you don't know say it's a girl shensia and you're watching dirty berry social media countdown number one goes to bc man Woo! my word my sentence my paragraph my essay my video taker number one goes to the broadcast commission ban jesus peem no burritos everybody was just there there was a still in the week everybody minding them business when out of the blue the broadcast commission of jamaica posted this girl what you doing what you doing what you doing what you doing so it says the Broadcast Commission has issued a directive requiring broadcasters to take immediate steps to prevent the transmission of any recorded material that promotes, promotes and or glorifies illegal activity. Guided by an exercise in the powers granted under the television and sound broadcasting regulations, the Commission now requires an immediate halt to the transmission of any audio or video recording, live song or speech which promotes and or glorify scamming, illegal use or abuse of drugs such as molly, illegal or harmful use of guns, guns or offensive weapons, jungle justice or any forms of illegal or criminal activity. Genuine. So basically, you see all of the artists that were bust during the pandemic, yeah man, the whole of them content have to just go park one side because, yeah man, the broadcast commission just come for back so the whole of the food. This specifically has to do with radio. So what they're basically saying, um, and this is not the first time because some years ago, they actually did do a ban on daggering songs on the airwaves, but that was at a time when radio was still very vital to an RT success. Nowadays, you have the streaming apps, you know, the YouTube, you have the Apple Music, the Spotify, etc. etc. I really do not think that this will be a major problem for the artists like Skeng and Skilly who, you know, probably have different type of content. Um, um, I definitely do agree with the Broadcast Commission. Um, it is radio and I, I don't know, I actually feel like radio, it, it have different rules that kind of govern it. And, and, and so I understand why they might want to ensure, say, it is of a certain standard. But in the midst of this, you know, social media, I forgot to react to all of this. So the memes have been appearing. So now I so see this, this video where so basically this is what the artists are going to start for singing at the studio. <laughs> And then you have another one such as this. Couple cultures, anything to go for. Gucci Louis Vuitton, anything to go for. Yeah! Yeah, London, Birmingham, and Adam. And so for all of the artists who sing the country song, maybe this, a this is a blessing in disguise. Maybe this will be your time to shine. 
But my readers, I'd love to hear from you. Do you agree with the broadcast commission? Or do you feel say you don't really care? The artists are still live, they're still eat them food. Sound off in the comments. Well, that is the people. We've come to the end of another top 10 social media countdown. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please to hit the like button, that is the thumbs up button, as well as to leave a comment down below. Do not forget to share the video and to subscribe. Subscribe, my readers. Get it into your brain. Subscribe. Once you have done so, ensure that you, you know, you follow me on my social media, that is um Dutch Bear Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, all over, as well as to you know reach out to me if you want to advertise within the social media countdown or hosting because yeah man Christmas will come up and so feel free to book me. Just send me an email right here. Okay, burritos, take care until next time. And once again, love all of you. Thank you for the continued support and for the strength and for always just like praying me up and keeping me in on thoughts. I do every single one of these videos for who know. Both those of you who, who live in Jamaica, those of you who um, are in the diaspora, I do this for you know, because I'm really lazy. So thanks for the support and take care. Stay safe. The dusty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop All the things are going on, they're missing on the news Tell your sister and your auntie, said the corner coming soon All the drama where you want, you for tuning to the youth Like, yo, hey, box cover I'm cover all the topics like a hymn name Pot cover, mix up, blender All them suck me, I will have me not a week Yo, just tune in, zine